everyone welcome to the first installment of my frozen ingredient series this is a series where i try to use frozen nigerian ingredients yeah mostly nigerian ingredients unless you guys suggest non-nigerian ingredients to me but my plan is to use frozen nigerian ingredients to prepare delicious meals you know in the life that we're living now we don't go out much like i explained in my last video some Nigerian food ingredients that we can buy over here are not readily available these days because, you know, uh, everything, flights are limited, all destinations, flights can't even go to all destinations these days. So most of them are imported where I live. So yeah, whenever we see that, we just buy them up and store them. So this is one way of preserving food to ensure that they are still fresh when you use it to prepare your delicious meals. In fact, even without the times we are living in, it's a very good food prep method. Yeah, that will save us time because, you know, even though we are stuck at home, but we are busy more than ever as we are trying to do a lot of things from the comfort of our home. Today, we are going to prepare delicious okra soup with frozen okra that we prepared the other day. So let's go. Before we go, <laughs> have you guys seen my head? Have you? Have you? <laughs> Flo, you have the perfect head shape. Your mom molded your head very well when you were a baby. You are rocking this, your Gorima Bao. It suits you very well. Yes, thank you all so much. <laughs> you should stop wearing wigs. <laughs> yeah, the truth is that the last video I uploaded and some videos that I'll upload in the future, I made them before I shaved my head. Yeah, so be ready to be seeing such videos in the near future. You know, the secret is that I've only released still photos. So what I do is I position my head in such a way that all my shooting stars are not showing. <laughs> all my ogre is not showing. And now you guys, with this video, you guys will now be looking at my shooting stars. All my, you know, <laughs> Ah, we see and be judging me if i catch you eh? if i catch you <laughs> let's go we head straight into the pot add the beef this is my homemade seasoning cubes and onions stir for a bit cover and leave it to steam up here are all the ingredients I'll use. The full list will be in the description box below. I brought out the frozen okra just to show you guys. I put it straight back in the freezer after firming the ingredients. You'll see why later. Keep an eye on the beef and once it steams up, stir. Cover again for more steaming. Keep doing that till the beef turns pale all over. Then add some water to the level of the beef and start cooking. I want to add ogono to this okra soup, just a small quantity so the soup will pop. If you want a version that is prepared with only frozen okra let me know in the comments and i'll upload that for you you know you guys have my mumu button on this youtube just say it and it's done here i'm grinding the ogiri obey that's dry fermented locust beans with the obono the obono is already ground but you can see that it has some lumps and the ogiri obey is too small to be ground in the dry meal anyway so a bit of mamarin two beds with one stone going on here In the okra preservation video, a good number of people asked why I put it in a foil first, froze it before putting it in the Ziploc bag. Flo, why not put it in the Ziploc bag straight away? I did that so that I can lay the chopped okra as flat as possible to flash freeze them. Flash freeze in physics is when you want something to freeze in the shortest time possible so that ice crystals are reduced to the barest minimum. That way, the food particles, in this case, the okra particles, will not fuse together. They will not gum body. This is the best practice when it comes to freezing food items to keep them as fresh as possible for longer. You see how thick this is? When I put it straight into a Ziploc bag, it will take ages for this one to freeze. 
and I will need extra Ziploc bags than necessary to achieve that thin layer I achieved with the aluminium foil. I would much rather waste aluminium foil than Ziploc bags. You can see that when frozen, I could fit all that okra into Ziploc bags, whereas I would have needed at least four Ziploc bags to achieve a thin layer that would enable a fast freeze. That's why I did that in a nutshell. Please Google flash freezing or flash freeze to learn more. You can see this one that I, I stuffed in here. When you touch it now, it's so hard that, yeah, you can break it up, but yeah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> it doesn't promote flash freeze because it's so thick, you see? So it's like so now. Yeah. It's breaking up, but man, you saw how easily that aluminum foil one came apart. Yeah. This one, I'm sure it took it two days. It has been in that freezer for about two days now. It must have taken it much longer to freeze compared to the other one that will freeze in a few hours. Yeah. So that's why I do it. When the meat is done, add the fish and cook till done. Take out everything, top up the water by a bit, use your discretion here and add the obono. Add palm oil. and cook for about 15 minutes on medium heat, stirring it often so it does not burn. Add crayfish, pepper, click the like button, have you, have you, and subscribe for more frozen ingredients recipes. You guys don't even know how many recipes I have in stock for you. Add the frozen okra. You can see that the okra is straight from the freezer. Do not defrost it first, else it will change color. The benefit of that crushing we did in the last video is that the frozen okra will heat up very quickly. That way, it will not be overcooked. Add the spinach. I don't like slicing my spinach just because it looks better when the soup is done. Yeah, just that. Aesthetics. You can slice yours if you wish. When it steams up a bit, like halfway cooked, stir. Add salt at this time if necessary, then add the meat and the fish. Cover and once it steams up again, stir and it's done. There you have it. Delicious okra soup prepared with frozen okra. Bye bye. See you soon.